Hey guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build. Today I'm technically building a tiny house, but in my mind it doesn't feel that small because usually when I build tiny houses they're actually closer to micro homes. But this one's a little bit on the bigger side, but it's still counted as a tiny home with uh, the tiny living expansion pack and the tiny home residential. So we're gonna call it a tiny home. But what I wanted to do was create a home for the first generation of the Not So Berry Challenge. If you're not sure what that is, it's a 10 legacy or 10 generation legacy challenge that has different colors and tasks associated with it. And the first generation is the mint generation and your sim has to be a scientist. And let me see if I can pull it up real quick here because it's a really fun challenge and uh, I started a couple years ago, I never finished it, but I think it's really fun. Each generation is color-based and has all kinds of tasks behind it. But generation one is mint. You are a vegetarian, jealous and materialistic sim with the aspiration of chief of mischief and your career is that you are a scientist. You need to master the scientist's career and complete the chief of mischief aspiration, master the mischief and logic skills, and complete the elements collection. So this tiny home is very, very inspired by that generation, hence why there's a giant telescope outside, you know, like sciencey things. There ends up being a space out back to build a rocket ship. And I thought Evergreen Harbor was gonna be a really cool location for this because I felt like I could put a lot of like sciencey and outdoor and like materials together using some shipping containers and I just had a lot of fun with this build. I thought this was the perfect location to go ahead and do this and let me know how you like this build if you'd like to see more of them. I was thinking I might do the next generation which is Rose once Cottage Living comes out because there's some beautiful Rose swatches that came with that. Uh, Rose is a generation where you have to be a hot-headed snob and romantic a serial romantic and you have to be a politician. It would be so funny to me if we did that in the world of Henford on Bagley because you're like this romantic, serial romantic sim and you just have to like watch out for Miss Crumplebottom, make sure she doesn't come over and whack you with her bag. I think that could be really fun um, and there's some beautiful swatches with that. But at the same time, since you have to be a politician, maybe you'd wanna live in city living with that and stay in you know. I don't know, but there's some beautiful swatches with that. But let me know if you guys like this, if you'd like to see the other generations of the Not So Berry Challenge represented in tiny homes or apartments or what have you, because I might be interested in doing that because I think this is a fun challenge. I know it's a really popular one and I never got very far with it. I think I got to only Rose. I was like in the middle of working on that generation and then I stopped playing, but I think it's a fun one and I had a lot of fun with this build. Uh, the landscaping was really fun. It ends up having a lot of pink and purple accents on the inside. I tried to incorporate pink because at some point in time, the mint generation is going to have a kid that's going to be the rose generation. So I was trying to incorporate that in here as well. And also with rose, that could be red or pink, I think. What? Well, pink is later on, it's generation seven. But when I think of roses, for some reason, I think of pink more so than I think of red. And I don't know why that is. But anyway, on the inside here, I thought it was really fun that I have the container portion of the house. And so I kept the walling in there, you know, the, the regular container walling. And that actually ends up being split off half a kitchen and half an office space. But I think the office space that I make and can end up being a bedroom for a kid later on. But uh, it ends up having like a desk and the elements collection. And I just added a couple of fun little things throughout this build that were nods to the challenge like mischief so we have a voodoo doll in this house which is an item I honestly always forget exists in the game it's a base game item but like when do I ever use a, a voodoo doll in my game not very often uh, so that ends up being in here and the elements collection is another thing I don't use very often I did end up completing it because I did you know play as the first generation and this as the mint generation at some point in time but that's the only time I ever even played with the elements collection but this is going to be the beginning of that office space. I grabbed this desk from Get to Work. It ends up having a mint swatch on it. I'm going to change that in a little bit. And then I use this new rug that we got with Dream Home Decorator. And oh my gosh, this stone. I used it on the outside too. But the stone on the wall there, 
That is such a minty swatch that came with the Country Kitchen Kit. And it's so perfect. It's exactly what we needed. And same thing with the counters that we're using in the kitchen as well. Those ones are from Dream Home Decorator and they are just the perfect minty swatch. I also really liked the Strangerville posters I'm putting in here. I put like a Simray gun as well. All kinds of science-y things that I feel like I just don't use very often in the game. Which is a huge benefit to the Not So Berry Challenge. It's really getting you to experience parts of the game you might not have. And it's a lot of fun. So yeah, like I mentioned before, let me know if you'd like to see future generations of this. I think I'm probably going to do the Rose Generation regardless because I've been thinking about it ever since I did this one. Uh, but I, I actually don't have experience past Rose, so I'm not sure uh, much about those. But I am going to have a list of all, well, I will be going through the list to get ideas. I have it pulled up on my computer right now and I will also link it in the description down below. It was a challenge that was co-created by Lil Simzy and Always Simming. So uh, yeah, make sure you check them out. And uh, this is the living room. This is probably the most basic room. Uh, we're popping outside first though because I was like, I need a rocket ship. I don't think you need it in this career. Actually, you might. I'm not sure. But I know later on, I think, is it generation three? Yeah, Generation 3 Yellow, their career is they're an astronaut, so <laughs> you're going to need a rocket ship at some point in time. Uh, I also added a like wind turbine, and we have a satellite dish, and some water collectors, and uh, like solar panels, just so many things here. I had a lot of fun putting down some of these items. There also ends up being a dumpster out here. For some reason, I feel like this generation just fits so perfectly with Eco Lifestyle. You guys can let me know if you agree or not. Uh, and then there's just like some gardening pots out back as well as inside in that greenhouse area. I thought that that worked out nicely. I'm also using a regular trash can in a debug one. So it looks like you have regular trash and recycling as well. And uh, that's most of outside. Also, I built this over on stream and somebody was like, you need to put the woohoo bush. So I put the woohoo bush. So your Sims can uh, have a little bit of fun outside if they want to or they could tinkle. It's up to you. <laughs> And then uh, we're just working on the living room here. I wanted to keep this fireplace in here. There ends up being one down here and one upstairs. That's the eco lifestyle fireplace. Probably one of my favorites in the game. It's a really cool one. I like it a lot. And uh, there doesn't end up being a lot of clutter in this space. We're just getting the voodoo doll up on that lower shelf there. And then a couple of storage bins as well. But I'm assuming as you move your way through the careers and aspirations of this sim, you're gonna collect all kinds of doodads that you can put throughout the space. And then I put the uh, trash can that earns you money when you throw things out, which sounds very nice in real life. I would like that. Uh, I believe for the table out here, I end up using Batu. I actually really like this picnic table from Batu. I think it's nice. There's a couple of swatches that have carvings in them that are very Star Wars specific, but the ones that don't have carvings, super versatile, very nice item. And then this is the only bathroom in the build. It is upstairs. It's like an ensuite to a lofted sort of bedroom space. Very green and black. I think it fits perfectly <laughs> with our mint idea. And uh, yeah, not, not so much to say about it. It's fairly simple. It's pretty small. Just have a shower. So uh, when you do have the rose generation at some point, if you're still living here, you're going to want to figure something out because you're going to need a tub to be the toddler. And uh, right now that is not doable. But we're working on the bedroom space now, once again, using some more Eagle Lifestyle for some beautiful mint swatches with this bed. We have a dresser from the Discover University pack, getting some rugs, and I will be adding another fireplace up here, like I had mentioned before, right by the stairs, actually. And I, I think the rest of it is just going to be, <laughs> like, cluttering things up. All the little llama succulent, like, knitted piece that we got from... Nifty knitting is super cute. We had so many hints that llamas were going to be coming to the game and we didn't see it coming. I I'm really enjoying the llamas and the cows and stuff. I'm excited to have them in my regular game. I mean, I, I know I only played with them briefly when I had like the super early access to cottage living, but it was so much fun and I really am excited to do some gameplay. I'm planning to probably have like, not here on YouTube, but sort of have a let's play over on Twitch. I'm going to give it a go, see if we're liking it, and uh, go from there. But I'm excited to bring some gameplay back to my channels again, probably just on Twitch. Although if we do get a Generations pack at some point, I'd be open to maybe trying another Let's Play here on YouTube. Let me know what you guys think about that. 
Uh, but yeah, we're just finishing up some landscaping here and then we're going to be heading on into screenshots. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below as well if you'd like to see more generations of this. And uh, if you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see y'all soon. Bye everybody.